guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a makeup video. I'm doing two looks for you and it's gonna be full makeup themed. It's gonna be a little bit more glam. And to do that, I'm using the very exciting new drop from Urban Decay. I'm sure you guys already know about it. It is their new Naked palette and it's cherry themed. I feel like it's been about a year since the Naked Heat came out, maybe a bit longer. I was absolutely obsessed with Naked Heat. I loved all the like matte, muted terracotta tones, but this one feels really current and perfect for the 2018. The colors are beautiful. As you can see right there, look how stunning they are. It really does go from something super, super pale and matte all the way through to a really dark, vampy, like berry chocolate hue. It's gonna be really fun playing with this. I'm gonna do a day to night look, something that you can use the palette for in the daytime and then you can build it up and do like a more nighttime smoldering look. I certainly get more into my makeup looks. My makeup looks become more glam and like over the top during the winter months. What's really great about the Urban Decay eyeshadows is that they're really buttery, soft, but very pigmented hues, which is great because you can really build it up for that intensity, but also they can be a, a bit, um, daunting to first use. Uh, that's why I thought it'd be a really good idea to show you. You can actually do a very light natural eye with this sort of palette and then you can build it up as well. So let's get started. Already prepped my skin with my skincare routine and then today for primer, I'm using the Beauty Pie Bio Infusion. This is a breathable base from Beauty Pie. If you don't know about them, I will link about them below. It's basically luxury products for wholesale price. And then on my face already, I've already done the base, is a classic by Giorgio Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation. I wear shade five. So yeah, moving into those like slightly heavier bases for fall and obviously no more tan. So yeah, back to the paler shades. So I'm gonna do some concealer. Today I'm going to use the Rosie for Autograph Concealer. I really like this brand. Um, it's stocked in M&S. Um, she's got amazing secret skin concealer and this is shade one. I really like it because it's got a bit of a peachy undertone as well, which means it's great for hiding those dark, dark colors and dark circles that I sometimes get under my eyes. But I do use it everywhere, so on any like spots or anything like that. I'm actually having to use less concealer than I normally do. I'm being blessed with good skin this week. For brows today, I'm gonna to use the new NARS eyebrow pencil. I was sent this a few weeks ago. It was in my new and beauty video, if you guys watched that. It's called the Brow Perfector, and I'm using shade Auburn Warm, and I'm just gonna use this to make a really natural brow for the day look. I wear a bronzer all year round. Doesn't matter if it's fall and winter. I love bronzer. I need it to add the shape back into my face when my foundation goes on and also just to warm up my complexion a little bit. So today I'm using the Hourglass bronzer. This is the ambient lighting bronzer in nude bronze light. Absolutely love this one. It looks really subtle in the pan, but it does build up a nice warmth on the skin. Also leaves me looking a little bit more glowy. Is that our Armani foundation is pretty matte when it's first applied. It does kind of have a little bit more dew after an hour or so. So like all the Naked palettes, it comes with a really nice double-ended brush. Most brushes that come in palettes are a load of shit, but the Urban Decay ones are always really good and worth keeping. So to start, I'm gonna mix up these two lightest shades. We've got Hotspot and Caution. I'm just gonna make them, mix them up and put them all over the lid as a sort of base. Next up, I'm gonna take some of this really really cute like pinky coral juicy shade and I'm gonna dust that all over the middle of the eye outwards. So now the lid has a sort of peachy tone. I'm gonna go and take the one just before that juicy shade. This one's called Feels. It's kind of like a mauve color and I'm gonna put that in the corners of the eye here. And then I'm gonna take the smaller tip of the brush and I'm gonna put it back into that Feels color that I just put on and I'm gonna run it all the way down underneath the eye. Okay, I'm struggling to keep this daytime, guys, because I just want to go in with all the sexy mauve colors, but so far we've only used three shadows. Although I really like how it looks right now, um, I want to use more than three shades for the daytime look. So I'm going to go in with this really beautiful coppery shade. It's called Ambitious. I'm gonna put that really lightly in the center of the eye. So I'm like literally using a flat brush and I'm just dusting it over the eyeball. And I find that when you put metallic shades right in the middle of your eye, it does kind of open up the eye a little bit more. I'm not putting too much on though. Even though I know I could build this up to a really beautiful foil, I'm trying to keep it muted. <laughs> We're gonna finish with the really nice champagne-y pink shade. Again, it's a metallic, it's called Turn On. I'm just gonna pop this right in the inner corners just to open up the eye. 
today. So let me add some mascara and liner into that and you'll see the finished look. Curling my lashes with my favorite Shiseido curlers. And then to keep this look in daytime, I'm gonna use a brown mascara. This is my favorite one of the moment. It's the Dolce & Gabbana brown mascara in Tiara 2. I've got a comb brush. It's honestly nothing special, but I don't like my lashes to be too crazy during the day. And I also always wear a brown in the day because I think it's more muted. Blacks can look super intense on blue eyes sometimes I find. Okay, so I've got the mascara on now. I'm just gonna go in with some blush. This is a By Terry blush. This is her Compact Expert Jewel Powder in Sun Desire. It's quite a muted pink. It's got two shades. The one in the center has um, some iridescent highlight in it, which is really nice. Just gonna dust that on. So to finish the daytime look, I'm just gonna line my lips with my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And then the lipstick, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorites, everyday lipstick, and this is one of the Girl Stilo lipsticks by Hourglass, and this one is Activist, and it's just a really nice everyday pinky nude. Okay, so that is my daytime look using the new Cherry Palette from Urban Decay. Super easy to do, colors are really easy to blend, as always, really impressed with what they come up with. If this is your vibe for nighttime, then great. I mean, I would wear this out in the day if I was doing like something special like an event or meeting someone for lunch um, or maybe having a few afternoon drinks but if uh, dialing up the glam is more your thing then keep watching because we're going to do something even more intense with the darker end of the palette next. I just took off the eye and the lip so we're going to move into the nighttime look. Oh my god where to start? Okay so I think I'm actually going to go back in with caution which I use all over the lid for the daytime look so I'm just going to put this back all over my lid as a nice base. Next I'm going to use the feels color which is that really nice pinky mauve color that I used in the last look but that's gonna go all over my lid this time so with a fluffy brush next up I'm gonna move into the dark territory this little baby here is called Bing and it's a really nice pinky plum muted shade so that is gonna be all the way through my crease and then like what I did with the last shade I put in the crease I'm just gonna take it underneath the lash line the lower lash line here just to join it all up okay the eye is looking very cherry pie two eyes cherry pies I'm gonna go in with devilish next it's definitely got a darker more brown plum appearance than being which is Quite pinky especially came out quite pinky on the lids I'm gonna run that through the cut crease I'm not gonna do a cut cut crease because I just feel like cut creases are super high maintenance and pretty tricky to do and not many people are doing them much anymore but I'm gonna put a little bit more through the cut crease just for that added definition I've not used this Sigma brush I used to have all the Sigma brushes for doing all the makeup looks back in the day this is my small tapered blending brush, the E45. Any makeup junkie will have one of these. They are just needed for doing eye looks. Look how pigmented it comes out on the brush. That is tasty. I feel like I have quite hooded lids. I always kind of have to cheat the cut crease. Bring it a little bit higher than it would naturally fall so it's still visible on the eye for me. Nice. Just giving it that little extra depth. Then I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and blend, 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 blend. Okay, and because this is a nighttime look, let's get some highlight up on that brow bone. I'm gonna use a small stubby little flat brush from Dior for this. This is uh, brush number 21. I'm just gonna use that turn on shade that I had in the inner corners of my eyes last time. I'm gonna highlight under the brows for this. And using the um, small end of the Urban Decay brush, I'm using the turn on shade again in the inner corners. Because I wanna go as cherry as possible on this, um, the next color I'm going to use is Young Love, which is a really metallic-y pink color. I'm gonna press it into the middle of the eye and then sort of smudge it into the corner. And then, just to intensify that into the corners, oh god, I'm using all the shades. Drunk Dial is next. Again, that is um, a metallic hue. It's like a metallic brown with a, like, a little bit of a, a purple undertone. And then, finally, before we go in with liner, I'm gonna just, um, Rim. Rim isn't the right word. Ring the eye. This really chocolate color here called privacy. Um, I'm just gonna define. I'm gonna define the eyes with privacy. Because it's nighttime and we just want to give that extra definition and depth to the eyes. I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs gel liner in brownie. I'm just gonna run that through the waterline. Like so. 
All right, and because it is nighttime, I'm gonna use a nighttime mascara. This bad boy is so freaking good if you want like full, voluminous, curled, chunky, black look, like glossy lashes. This is the Curler Volume Effect by YSL. The brush is quite strange actually, I'll show you. This bit here holds like a shitload of product and this bit is for like pulling and lengthening. So if you dig that bit into the bottom of your lashes, you can then pull it through with the comb on the other side. Chunky monkey. Not for the faint hearted, this mascara. So to finish off, I'm using that same lip liner that I just love. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And because it's quite a dramatic eye look and I never really get the chance to wear nudes anyway, I'm gonna wear my favorite nude of the moment. This is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture and this color is number 70. So it's a nice rosy nude. Et voila! There we have it, the nighttime look, all finished. It's pink for sure. It has purple undertones, like movie undertones. I'm surprised there wasn't actually any red in the palette, like ready hues. It's, it is a very purpley, plummy palette. I think it's great. I love the pink tones. I think they're really cool for this year. Like it makes a nice change from the muted terracottas and the oranges that we saw last year that were totally overdone and now everyone's a little bit bored of. So this is really nice. It, I think it works really nice with light eyes and on brown eyes as well. There's loads and loads of different looks you can do with these things. I appreciate they are big palettes and they are quite spenny but obviously Christmas is coming up so if you know someone that might like this as a treat then it could be really cool for like the makeup junkie in your life or if you just want to treat yourself. I'm gonna actually recreate this look for my friend's birthday next week. It's my first like winter, autumn winter like night out out so I think it's gonna look really good with some black leather and maybe snakeskin boots. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, if you've got any questions about the look or the product please leave them down below as usual did you prefer the day look or the night look let me know in the comment section as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and once again I'm on Instagram my handle is on the screen now so thanks again for watching and have a really lovely week bye for now